This is going to be a reading for the Aquarius in a no contact with an Earth energy. These are general readings, so don't make them fit if they don't. If you don't resonate with this message, check out one of my other videos. You might find a reading there that you resonate with. If you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. Hit the notification bell so you can get notified when I upload. Liking the video is a great way to support what I do. You can buy me coffee if you want to donate to me. And if you have a request of specific signs, types of readings, please leave it in leave it in a comment. I love requests. Show me the Aquarius energy. What's Aquarius? What's Aquarius? What's representing the Aquarius right now? A lot. Before I even look, show me the Earth energy that they're in no contact with. Okay. I have a Queen of Wands on the bottom. Passion, passion, passion. Wanting to grow things. Okay, Aquarius. Ace of Swords. This is a beginning, a new beginning of truth and clarity. King of Swords. Air energy. This king looks like he's about to take his sword and uh, spread some truth. Two of Cups. This is reuniting. Five of Cups. This is... Uh, Looking at what we don't have instead of what we do have. And then this card, he's holding those cups. King of Cups, this is feeling a lot of emotions. Sometimes indulging. Page of Swords. This is a, sometimes an energy that's spying. Three of Swords. Sometimes it's a third party. It's definitely feeling heartbreak. Alright, so that's where my Aquarius is at right now. And the Earth energy. The Fool. This is a naive energy that's walking off the cliff into a new day. Uh, not really paying attention to where it's headed. And the Star card. This is a wish. This is also representing the Aquarius energy. So, looks like that energy is walking away. From the Aquarius energy, the star, the wish, the dream. So if at one time, the earth energy that we're in no contact with, either foolishly jumped into a connection with the Aquarius, which is why now the Aquarius energy is behind the fool, may have been very passion-driven with uh, the hopes and desire to... To build things. Um, passionate. Seductive, really. Passionate. Uh, the earth energy. Is going towards a new day. Turning its back on the Aquarius. An Aquarius. It's all about. The truth. Wanting to know the truth. This sword here, representing the new beginning of clarity and truth. Information. This king of swords here is pulling that, that sword out from its back. So if, Aquarius, you felt betrayed by the earth energy, right now, you, you, might, you might have felt like you had to pull the truth from... From the earth energy. To get some clarity in the situation. Like it might have literally been pulling teeth. To get to get information from that earth energy. You might have a desire to reconnect with this. With this uh, earth sign. I usually say that this card in this deck. 
the five of uh, cups, like I said earlier, is all about the person that's focusing on what has been spilled instead of the cups that are still standing. But in this card, this energy is holding the cups. It's holding those cups. So this might be saying that, Aquarius, you found out a truth. Like, like we, I just said, like you felt like you had to pull it out of the earth energy. Or maybe the earth energy didn't give you the truth and you had to find it out in another way. Either way, you might resonate because you found out a truth. Because those swords is all about clarity and truth. This wanting to reunite, you might be recognizing that these cups are empty. The water is the emotion, the love. These cups that this energy is holding is empty. There's no water in those cups that I can see. But they're holding on to it. So, Aquarius, are you holding on to the hopes that you might reconnect with the Earth energy? Here again, holding this cup in the waters of it. This might be suggesting that you actually spied and got information. Or, like I said before, found out some information on your own. Because it doesn't feel like this Earth energy was really uh, forthcoming. Put you in a very emotional state. Um, sometimes this suggests indulging in an unhealthy way. So if that's the case, balance that out for yourself, please. Because um, this person is like almost knee deep in waters. Uh, when I see that hand in that pocket, they're holding on to something. Okay? And... Definitely feel like you found out information. You may have actually kept your eyes closed to it for a while or didn't really want to believe what you had found out. And like I said before, the Three of Swords, not all the time, but sometimes it represents a third party. If it doesn't represent an actual other person, um, like a third party situation, it could represent that the other energy was putting time and energy in another situation like a job or themselves if it wasn't a third party. And like, yeah, I just feel uh, the earth energy here. I mean, look at all the, the feelings that came out here for the Aquarius, but for the earth energy, it's just pretty straightforward. A foolish energy going towards its new beginning, turning its back on on the Aquarius energy. That's what I see there. Maybe solely focused on its own, its own passions and this King of Pentacles underneath it. I don't always feel this way about the King of Pentacles, but in this card I kind of do. It just seems like this King of Pentacles is hiding something. They look a little... Like, they're a little too concerned with how they look. Okay? And that's what I get from that. Let me just ask. Let me ask if uh, this energy and the Aquarius are going to come back together or be in communication in the near future. What well, can you tell me about the Aquarius and this Earth energy? Is the Earth energy going to come back? The Empress on the bottom. Looking towards this Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is stability. It's feeling financially stable, feeling like the family, the love, the home, everything is stable. This Empress energy, that's what she's looking towards. She even has all these stars over her head, the same stars that are here. So, I'm going to say the Earth energy 
might be really focused on what they feel is fulfilling for them. I feel like they're being, they're selfish. Okay? And her eyes are closed. They might be selfish about what they presented as their stability. They might have been deceitful about that. The Queen of Cups, the Lovers, and the Two of Wands. So if this energy comes back into your life, it might represent itself like um, the Queen of Cups, much like the King of Cups there. They could represent it like we're meant to be together. We're a divine pair. Um, but the Queen of Cups uh, can be lost in their emotions, like, like the King of Cups indulging in a bad way. The lovers. This energy might come back and represent itself like we're a divine pair. We can have a balanced, beautiful new beginning together. Like we're meant to be together. You might be meant to be together. Maybe this is your, uh, your divine partner. But here with the Two of Wands, this is telling me that they still might not, within, be sure that this is the road that they want to take. Because the Two of Wands is all about being at a crossroads. So if, this, if there was a third party and the Earth energy like foolishly jumped into a connection with you and then foolishly turned its back on you, either because there wasn't someone else or or it was being selfish in its in its desires of what fulfills this energy. Um, they might not even be fully aware of what fulfills them because the fool is a young, naive, just starting its journey on the path energy. It might not really understand what its desires or dreams truly are, okay? And if this energy returns, just be aware of that, Aquarius. Make sure that you are emotionally stable, okay? That you understand what you're feeling and that your feelings are not ego-driven. And that it's about, because I feel like for you it's about the stability. Like, you want to grow and birth things. But this energy might be back and forth. If it does come back, it's going to present itself like... Like, we're a divine, we're a divine, we're a divine couple. We should be together. We're meant to be together. But just remember, if you're resonating with this and they walked away, don't forget that. Don't let your ego drive your emotions. You understand? This card is about lovers, but it's more so about balance. The lovers, okay? It's Adam and Eve. It's the most pure state of love and connection. And this Two of Wands is telling me if it's not you that's at a crossroads, not go, not sure if you should go back or forth, then it's telling me that's that's energy's headspace, the earth energy. Okay? And that's what I'm getting from that reading. Um, like I said earlier, like the video to support what I do. Leave a comment if you have a request, certain specific zodiac signs or type of reading you'd like to see. Buy me a coffee if you want to donate to me. And subscribe, hit the notification bell to get notified when I upload new videos. Thank you guys for your time. God bless. I hope I see you next time.